Are there some lessons in life that can actually come too late? Sure, because life has an ending to it. In our life, we're continually going through growth and success and struggle and some failure. Life keeps going up and down, and along the way, we have the opportunity to pick up important lessons along that way. Hi, I'm Mary Morrissey. I'm the author of two best-selling books, one of which, Building a Field of Dreams, became a PBS special. Do you ever wish, as I do sometimes, that you could go back and tell your younger self all the things that you know now? Well, over the years of training tens of thousands of people all around the world, I've met plenty of people who wish they could go back in time, pull their younger selves aside and say, hey, if you listen to me for a minute, I could save you years of trouble. Spending some time thinking about how you will view your life when you're older than you are now can actually allow you to feel more enlivened in your life right now by informing yourself about things that you might not be aware of while you're living your life. Because if you never, only rarely, stop to consider how you're going to look back on your life, you may miss out on the important lessons you learn along the way about happiness, personal fulfillment, and then we only stumble upon them when it's too late or almost too late to act. And the lessons we learn in life are actually beautiful gifts for us. And I know that right now as you're watching this, you can think about the lessons you've learned. Some of those came easy, some of those may have come hard, but you've learned a lot of lessons over this life. Some, my mother used to call these lessons like, like pearls on a great strand of beautiful pearl necklace that we, we earn our way to over a life well lived. Those lessons have the power to inspire us to live our best life. So I wanted in this video to share five significant life lessons that I've learned, sometimes the hard way, but these lessons have really helped me. And I'll share these five lessons so that you can incorporate them into your life should you choose to want to along with reasons why I think these lessons can actually help you open the door to a life you would absolutely love living while you're living it. You might want to grab a pen and paper here because these five lessons are going to come quickly and they carry a wallop of power once we incorporate them in our life. Lesson number one, dream big and take action. It costs us nothing to dream big. Most of us make choices about what we think we can do and what others think we can do and what the economy tells, me, tells us we can do. What, if, what would you love? Dream big. And you can take simple, easy action steps that help make welcome that dream right into the life you're living. Dream big and take action. Number two, make friends with fear. Fear is part of this life. Fear is actually the border of the reality we know. That's all it is. Inside our comfort zone is everything we know. We're comfortable with it. We've learned that. We've learned how to walk. But there was a time when it was scary. And we, we, we took very faltering steps. We weren't good at it first, but we did it afraid. And we got better and better at it. And everything we did for the first time, we did somewhat afraid. So dream big and take action. Some of those actions you're going to feel a little afraid about. But take good, solid actions anyway. Go ahead. Make friends with fear. Lesson number three. Live from a place of love. You're going to live from a place anyway. Many of us learn to live from a place of anxiety. Live from a place of resentment. Live from a place of fear. Choose. This day, I'm going to live from a place of love. I'm going to be in love with my life today, just as it is. It doesn't mean I'm not wanting it to grow and become and change, but I have a day of life today. I'll never have this day of life. Not in eternity. Not this one again. There are flowers to smell today. There's kids' hands to hold. There's, there's appreciation I can bring into the gift of being alive today so that I'm absolutely aware of the gift of having a life while I'm having it. I can learn to live from a place of love in the day that I'm in. Life lesson number four, forgive daily. Not just now and then, forgive daily, because forgiveness is an act of self-love. When my youngest son asked me one day, he was three and I were brushing his teeth at night, he said, how many times do I have to brush my teeth? I said, we just keep doing it, Matt, over and again. What, can't we ever get it over with? Forgiveness is like that. There's a grit and grime that happens during our day, and so we brush our teeth, we wash our bodies, not just now and then, we brush our, we have a regular pattern for that. It's the same thing with forgiveness. There's a grit and grime on our psyche, on our spirit that happens from daily life. The little things that happen, sometimes big things. So we learn to daily bathe in forgiveness, which is a shift in perception that removes resentment, removes blame and criticism of others and ourselves and gives us a fresh start for the day, a fresh start as we go to sleep at night. So we forgive the day we've been in so that we can live a life from the place of love. Forgive daily, because forgiveness isn't really for someone else, it's for ourselves. Forgiveness is an act of self-love. And lesson number five, do what gives you life. 
You're going to have crossroads. We're going to decide this or that. Anytime you're at a crossroads, ask yourself, which choice would give me more life? Which choice do I feel more alive in? Which choice feels more expansive? Often we've been trained to make decisions by what others think or what we said we were going to be or do or what, what the world thinks we should be or do. Just ask yourself, which would give me more life? And choose that. Do what gives you life. Your spirit, your energy will never lie to you. It expands in what life would bring to you and it contracts when you're making choices out of shoulds and musts and have tos. Five lessons that you can incorporate in your life. Dream big and take action. Make friends with fear. Learn to live from a place of love. Forgive daily because forgiveness is an act of self-love. And do what gives you life.